suspension components. Spring hangers hang the spring stack, which is bolted into the frame rail of the truck. Inspect the bolts. Inspect the spring stack for damage. U-bolts hold the spring stack to the front axle. The front axle connects the two wheels. It carries the weight of the front part of the vehicle, as well as facilitates steering and absorbs shocks due to road surface variations. Inspect the shock absorber. The shock absorbers do two things. Apart from controlling the movement of springs and suspension, shock absorbers also keep your tires in contact with the ground at all times. Check for leaking and crack bushings and nuts at attachment points. Check the rear spring stack. Check U-bolts, spring hanger, and frame rail. The rear drive shaft comes into the differential. The differential is designed to drive a pair of wheels while allowing them to rotate at different speeds. Check for leaks of gear oil. Do not drive in water deeper than the center of the axle. Water will enter the vent of the rear differential, contaminating the oil. Tire inflation is an integral part of the suspension of the vehicle. The correct inflation pressure for any vehicle is found on a placard, not on the sidewall of the tire. Pressure stamped on the sidewall of a tire reflect the maximum safe load range for that particular tire, not of the vehicle. Underinflation can reduce load carrying capacity up to 220 pounds for every pound of air pressure below the recommendations. Check tires for proper code inflation pressure and ensure tread depth is not less than 4 30 seconds of an inch. Check tire tread for unusual wear patterns and sidewalls for cuts and bulges. Check wheels for cracks, damage, and loose lug nuts. Check seals for oil leaks.